Good afternoon, this is Mike Palmer from Mike Palmer Homes, bringing you a house we've just completed here. Um, this home is 4,400 square feet with a three car garage. It's got five bedrooms and it's also got a guest room. So technically it could be called a six bedroom. Anyway, the landscape is not complete yet and there's still some work going on, but I'm gonna make the video anyway because we're getting real close to being done. And I want to make hay while the sun is shining. Now, we may be dubbing in some drone video that we get after the landscape's complete, so uh, um, I'm not sure exactly which picture you're seeing right now. Anyway, we appreciate you watching our site. And uh, one thing, a uh, little bit of housekeeping. If you find value in our videos, we would love it if you hit the thumbs up, like button, and the subscribe button. But what I usually do, what people seem to enjoy, is I just start talking about the house. Um, and the reasons we did things and what we do, why we do it. Now, over here, you see there's a creek, okay? Creek goes through there and it goes all through the neighborhood. Now, this creek had, next to it, this was very low. We brought in 75 dump trucks of dirt and built this front yard up. Underneath there was a soil called bull tallow. Bull tallow has this quicksand-like property where when the Excavators go in and they sink all the way up to the track. So it's very soft dirt, very wet dirt. And it's like a clayey kind of quicksandy. So it does not have the load bearing capacity to hold up a house. So what we had to do is get engineers in here and they brought in pilings and basically they're telephone poles and we've got 99 of them in the footing here. All but a handful were over 20 feet deep. So they go through 20 foot of uh, Soft dirt till they hit good load bearing capacity dirt. I think it's 10 blows per minute. They have a big boom that bangs down on that telephone pole is big. And when it's 10, 10 blows per inch means they are at load bearing capacity. Then so we have, so they cut off the telephone poles, the last part all at one level, and then they build a steel cage. Six bars of five eighths inch rebar with a, with a three eighths inch rebar clip, reinforcing steel around it. So it was a big cage, looked like a bridge poured a bunch of concrete in there, and now we're able to put a foundation on it. So we're able to build a nice house, but there, there were some moisture conditions in the crawl space, so the homeowner is going to get the crawl space sealed probably with a dehumidifier. We've been running dehumidifiers in there during construction um, because the soil, still, even though we brought 75 loads of dirt, is still very, very damp soil. So anyway, that's a story behind this house, but it's hard to find good lots anymore. So anyway... Don't mind this, this is our big monster dump trailer, but you know, on this nice new driveway, we don't want to put, uh, put a dumpster, so we have a rubber tired one, so that's gonna be going. Anyway, over here, because of the steepness of the neighbors, we put a curb. As you can see, that's a curb on the driveway. So we can grade that in, keep the moisture going where it's got, got to go, send the water where, it's, where it should be going. Um, this siding is called Miratech. I mean, the, the, the corner pieces are called Miratech. This is a, a concrete fiberboard siding, referred to as Hardy Plank, although this is a Nichiha brand, um, but it's still basically the same thing. Um, but you notice on this bottom panel here, they got a nice metal flashing here. It'll keep the water from getting behind there and it goes up behind the siding and a metal flash here and a drip edge on the stone. So the water comes out and drips down on that. Uh, it's a manufactured stone, but it's a nice looking product. The windows, very popular now are the black windows and that grid pattern is called prairie. So it's prairie on the top, prairie on the bottom, prairie over prairie, kind of that tic-tac-toe board look. Sometimes you go prairie over one where you don't have one in the bottom. Just all depends on the customer's preference. And what I really like about this house, it's kind of a unique one of a kind house and everybody's got different tastes. So, you know, we put in the customer's colors and it just makes it a lot more interesting then cookie cutter type houses. And we like our returns. That's called a return. I like that's called a Queen Anne return. There's a little hip roof there. I like, I like that detail. That's one of my favorites. Um, and they put a gable detail, a cedar gable detail up there um, to match the front porch. Anyway, and we put that big piece of, that bottom piece of mirror tech there. Here, starter board. I think it looks a lot better than just running the siding all the way down. Anyhow, this front porch wrapped in stone. There's gonna be a big flower bed here when we get our landscaping done. Uh, the front porch, there's big cedar columns. Very pretty, they go with the knotty pine ceiling in the porch. Let me see if you can see that. 
I'm on my new DJI Osmo uh, camera, so hopefully we've got a wide fisheye lens. We have some complaints that, that it gets a little too narrow, so we bought some better equipment. Um, it's amazing stuff they put out now, so hopefully this, this video works out a little better for you, but I do remind people we are not cinematographers or videographers. We are home builders, so if there's any, if this, I apologize if this uh, film comes out a little amateurish, but we need to bring it to you. The front door is an eight-foot front door, mahogany front door with beveled glass. And you can see our workers in there working away. Um, it's a nice double front door, eight foot high for a grand entrance. Let's go take a look inside. And inside, there's our uh, beloved painters from Rivera Painting. Uh, here, this is the dining, formal dining room in here. Look at that light fixture. There's a nice, unique light fixture. Anyway, we go with three and a quarter inch trim. This is pretty much our standard. We rarely go with the narrower trim. And I just, I just like, and we go with the eight inch baseboards. Anyhow, but look at this accent wall. That's kind of like a wainscoting there. You almost got like a diagonal herringbone and you got a nice cedar band right across the middle there. That's a very unique, unique one of a kind detail on the wall. And it kind of helps go with the dark, the dark windows. Um, in your foyer, you've got a two-story foyer. Yeah, look how high that is. And look at that light fixture. Isn't that cool? It's almost kind of like a spiral icicle type light fixture. And up in the foyer, there is a window to let in natural light. So if we come in the front of the house, you've got the dining room over here. You've got, and over here, you've got the powder room. We're going to take a look at the powder room. Nice quartz top. Here, commode. Um, and then here is the pantry. It's near the kitchen. Or, no, I'm sorry. This is a coat closet. But they have a lot of kids. Why well, they have five bedrooms and a guest room. And a lot of, they've got a very large family. So this is a big coat closet and general use closet. It's a great room. And there's a great room. Got that nice natural setting there. And you've got picture windows up in the top, on the bottom. That fireplace goes all the way up. You've got cedar beams on the top, and look at those uh, those light fixtures. They match pretty well with the with with this. They've got the same kind of crystal ball icicle motif on the, on the ceiling fans as well. The two ceiling fans up there. You've also got those picture windows there for natural light and you can kind of gives you a panorama of the wooded setting here you can see the trees it is fall all the leaves are off but you know when the leaves are there you get a much nicer setting and then there's back to your back deck now it's a screened in porch yeah you see saw horses are still currently working on the stairs etc but look at the size of this look at those nice kind of hurricane light fixtures a 90 pine tongue and groove ceiling in here they have an outdoor gas fireplace a real nice feature it is screened in a product called screenies and they have an outdoor kitchen with a with a nice hood we still haven't taken the protective coating off the off the chimney stack there but anyway that's a that's a suspended hood over the outdoor kitchen area it's got a granite slab, it's got stone on it. Um, they're currently working on the stairs, the stairs out to the back, back porch here. But this product here is called Screenies. We like to use this because it's just got, it's not real obtrusive, but it's got a cap cover. So when it's, if this screen gets damaged, the screens start to sag over time. They don't always stay this tight. So after X number of years, you can pull this off and very quickly and inexpensively change the screen. So we have a big double slider there, both those doors open, and a single slider here off the breakfast room. Now we go in, back in from the porch. We'll go take a look at the kitchen here. Now for large families, this is kind of a dream kitchen. Look at how big that island is. The size of that island. There's your refrigerator. Look at the sink. Sink's in the island. It's like a farm sink, but it's like a a hammered metal sink. I like the single bowl. Some people like the double. That's the way I like it. Now they've got drawers under the range. The electric smooth top range. 
with a stainless range hood and look at the tile work, a tile backsplash back. And they brought that tile all the way up over the top and over here. So the whole wall is tile, everything but where the cabinets are. You got a double oven. That's actually a microwave over the, over the oven. And I'm not sure if that's one of those convection microwaves that'll brown too, but still it's a nice double oven look and lots of drawers, drawers, drawers. Pots and pans sometimes work better in drawers. Now this side here, it's almost like a big buffet. Cabinets here. And you've got, once again, you've got that nice unique tile backsplash. So this took a lot of design by the homeowner. And it's gonna be real pretty. Now you look at this breakfast room. Look at the size of that. You've got that big picture window. Seeing a natural area out back there. Leads out, but this is gonna have a nice big table here. Nice huge family get togethers. And once again, great for a big family. And look at that over the more of the suspended crystal. So all these lighting themes kind of tie together. And like I said, you've got that natural area. And I live not far from here. We have lots and lots of deer. I've already seen several deer in the backyard. So it is a beautiful setting. Although the lot did require a lot of work with telephone poles, but uh, you look at the finished product here. Here's the pantry. This is the pantry from heaven. It's got a spot for a refrigerator here for a second fridge. And with large families, a second fridge is always helpful. Look at all these shelves. Store all kinds of stuff. Now these are uh, not the wire shelves. These were made by our uh, trim carpenters. Made and painted. And I've said this before, you probably, probably sound like a broken record, but uh, um, you can get these white melamine shelves, you can get the wire shelves. The wire shelves are quick and inexpensive, but some people aren't crazy about them. Um, it seems like the people are generally a little happier with the shelves that our trimmers build um, than the white melamine ones. White melamine ones are nice. They're like a formica that you can wipe down so you don't have, you know, paint can, over time, if you leave cans on them, it can get tacky, so it's good to put the shelf liners on there. But if you... When you get the white melamine, they have adjustable shelves too, but I'm finding a lot of people never adjust the shelves. And the feedback I get from customers is they generally like these better. And they're not as much money. I mean, the shelves are definitely cheaper to have our trim carpenters make them. But by the time you paint it, there's a little labor in the paint and all. You're not that far from the white melamine formica ones. But you also got all kinds of place on the floor. So you can put appliances, Cuisinarts. You've got a lot of room in here for a lot of different things. And like I said, you've got a refrigerator area here, and you've got an out uh, receptacle down here to plug in whatever you'd like. So anyway, that's enough about the pantry from heaven. Come here, here's the stairs, and they're about to stain them to match the floor. Actually, they're waiting on me to get done my video. Um, over here is the guest room. Oh, doors. You've got lever handles, square, and that's a five panel door. Kind of goes with my craftsman trim motif but it's five five panels and I like it it's unique but in here guest room guest room closet nice big walk-in closet once again the uh, um, made by our trim carpenters with the chrome rod LED light fixture and the guest room bath. So we've got slow closed toilets on the commode. I'm always being yelled at by my realtor friends that keep that closed when I film. Anyway, it's got a fiberglass tub. I really like these. This is one of my favorites because it's a shower head. You take it down as a wand. So you can get in all the nooks and crannies, clean the tub, whatever. Hang it back up, it's back to a shower. It matches the doorknobs. Oh, I like these kind of, I like that fixture. And a square bowl sink. And look at the light fixtures. Kind of got the other hurricane lamp. Goes with the theme of all the other light fixtures. And I like these custom houses. You never see the same thing twice, so it's really cool. And this tile, this is the mudroom area. Because we've got that tile there. Another, another very uh, individualized. There's a door and stairs out of the mudroom, so you don't have to go through the garage every time. Got stone steps out to the driveway. 
Uh, this is just storage under the stairs, but we've got some leftover floor and paints, etc. cetera. Um, let's go here, garage. Wood steps out to a nice big three car garage and we had to put the telephone poles under here too. Driven into the ground some pilings because uh, you know, this was soft soil as well. But nice big three car garage, this big oversized garage. Here we got a heat pump, heat pump uh, water heater. This is a more efficient kind of water heater. And you've got a uh, utility sink. Um, now sometimes we, we put a door here Okay, and they have a 220 outlet here. That can uh, be for a lot of different things. See, that could be an electric car charger, that could be uh, for a welder, for uh, any 220. Uh, two, two, two and 20 volt uh, a welder compressor, etc. cetera. Uh, anyway, but we like to trim out our garages, so you see there's baseboard and for, the, for the most part. And they get some nice, uh, there's LED lights in here. This is going to be a really big garage. You're going to have lots of fun in here. And lots of space. So, but a lot of times we'll put a door here, walk doors so you can get out, but they have one here at the end of the laundry room so they don't need one. Because it's nice to have a door so you're not opening and closing that garage door constantly. Now this bench here, we call it a drop zone. So you can put hooks in here to hang coats, cubbies for gloves and other belongings, book bags, Shoes, boots, this is a nice big one for a large family. Look, baby, they call that back there, they call that shiplap. So we got shiplap behind there. So that's a nice little, almost like a furniture piece. And we can get our cabinet makers to make these, but when our trimmers do it, it's about half the price that we really like. So that's generally how we do it. And we come upstairs. I said the stairs aren't stained yet, but it's an oak tread. It's gonna be stained to match here. Uh, that's our, L our vinyl plank floor that you see throughout the whole house. Uh, the Mannington product. You got a window here for natural light. And look at that light fixture. Kind of reminds me of the Star of Bethlehem. Yeah, that, that's cool. And it's got the crystals that go with the... And you look at these stair rails. They're cable rail. And that is unique. I believe that's the first time we've put one on the inside of the house. But it's also got a crisscross in there. So this one by a sandwich and the cable rail. So you've got custom railings. Custom rail here, custom rail there. This is kind of square oak and a square newel. So it's a elegance and simplicity. And come upstairs, a big landing. Now the stair, upstairs is almost as large as the downstairs. We've got five bedrooms up here. So this is a laundry room. We've got a nice custom barn door on the laundry room. And that's real pretty. When you come up top, come up from the top of the stairs, you come in. You got a granite top, I mean quartz top, quartz sink top, big sink here. Lots of laundry for lots of kids. Cabinets up above, store everything. And over here, got a cabinet on each end, but there's lots of space for laundry baskets. I like these folding tables. You put line the laundry baskets up underneath, fold all the laundry, make piles for the separate kids, and here's where your washer dryer goes. So most of the time our washer dryer is on the ground floor near the master, but they have the master and all the kids' bedrooms up here. So these are like doing laundry on the same floor where the kids are. Now, let's look at the master suite. We've got a double like French doors here to come in. You know, one fixed, one fixed door, one operable, but you can open both of them to come in the master suite. And a lot of people doing that in the bedrooms, they're just skipping the carpet altogether. Just going to the vinyl plank floor. There's lots of kids, lots of pets. Um, very durable. And uh, like I said, more and more people are doing that. The fan in the master bedroom, got the same crystals. They put up four can lights. So, um, but you're gonna have nice room for a nice big bed here. Lots of room for furniture. It's a very huge master suite. Look, go into the master bath. Look at that nice big barn door. Nice big barn door. And look at this master suite, it's pretty spectacular. You got a tile floor, you got that claw foot tub there. Going into that, uh, it's almost like car wash style shower. You can come in from both ends. There's a niche here. And you get that beveled tile. Oh, and this has got a pedestal floor mount, uh, floor mount faucet, look at that trough faucet. Feel nice and you got a wand here. Um, 
his and hers vanities. This one's a little smaller, got the same trough fixture, um, and it's got that, uh, this big vertical cabinet. It's kind of closet cabinet for towels, for linens. And this side is bigger. So you can spread out more, more stuff, more drawers, or more, more bathroom, bathroom accessories. And it's a little light fixture. Kind of all ties together with the whole house. This is a commode room, nice and private. I right, the fan on. Now there's his and hers closets. And once again, our custom shelves in here, chrome rods. It's got high and low, tall for longer stuff, dresses and whatnot. Um, this one here, his and hers. Can't tell which one's his and hers because usually hers is bigger, but these are about the same size. Anyway, but this is a heck of a master suite. So you got a nice tile, your vinyl plank floor in here, and there's no carpet in this whole master suite. You get a nice window so you can see out in the woods, watch the deer and antelope play, and then go to your side where your neighbor's house is. You've got these high windows that they let natural light in, but they're up high, so there's lots of privacy. Shower. It's not a zero curb entry, it's got a curb helps hold the water in but you've got that herringbone oh, that fans a little out you got the herringbone tile on the floor got your beverage tile on the side you got a niche over there you got your main shower head here you got your body misters and your wand over there and your controls are over here so you can set your water you don't have to stand under the shower set your water temperature and we've got a frameless frameless shower shower glass enclosure We'll go back and take a look at that and we'll back out of here because this is a really kind of grand and spectacular bathroom. You look at that tub. I don't know if this video gives you the right feel, but there's, it's a, it's a really, really a winner of a bathroom here. All right. So that's the master suite and the laundry room up here. Now we've got another closet in the hall in the kind of this hall loft area. It's a big old kind of linen closet. Look at all those shelves. And there is a lot of technology in this house. You see a lot of wires for distributed audio and uh, um, they've got a whole structure, structure panel for that. But this is a long hallway. There's two bedrooms left, two bedrooms right. There's also two Jack and Jill bathrooms. So you go in the first bedroom here. Okay, it's a custom color. Got a ceiling fan. We like to wire all our, all our bedrooms for ceiling fans because pretty much everybody wants that. So the bed's going to be here and you've got your TV, wall-mounted TV. And usually we'll walk through with the electricians and ask you, do you want your TV mount up there, TV, or do you want it down there where it's going to sit on a dresser? Um, uh, right here is Jack and Jill. So you've got, this is a closet here for the one bedroom. You've got the sink here. So each bedroom has its own sink, so the kids can have their own toothbrush and whatnot. And you've got the, uh, the lights not on in here. You've got the tub, tub and commode here, and another door to the other bedroom has got your trough sink, quartz top, and uh, each kid has their own sink. And then the commode and the uh, tub are shared. And this one's got a pocket door to go into the other bedroom. The bedroom on the right. Once again, it's a good different custom wall color. And they've got a walk-in closet here as well. Shelves, cubbies, shoe racks. That's for your longer hanging clothes. Now, bedrooms on the left. This is the furthest back bedroom. There's a closet here. I think this is bedroom four or bedroom five. Nice walk-in closet here. And it's also got access to bathroom. Same setup. This is shared. You come in the door, commode. Bathtub, again with the wand, nice feature. 
and this is the other. I don't have the light on. Turn, turn the light on. Anyway, same setup there, and it's got a pocket door into this bedroom. This must be the girls because it's pink. Anyway, and that one you get a view out of the front, a nice view of the neighbor's house and my truck. And you got, once again, TV mount up there. So, and this brings us back out by the master suite and the laundry room. So, you almost get lost up here. Bedrooms, bedrooms, bedroom. Two that way, one at the end here, one here. Two, two Jack and Jill bathrooms. Big laundry room. Enormous master suite. And there again, you got your, it's a pretty light fixture there. So anyway, that's the upstairs. I'm finally coming down, gonna be out of the painter's way. Gotta hurry up so they don't give me dirty looks. Like they're running from the camera. All right, we won't make you be on camera. All right, it's all yours, guys. I go back out to the garage. We'll take a walk out and back here. That's your side entry. But this is a very tall house, but you've got a lot of square footage. So you've got uh, um, over 2,000 square foot up, over 2,000 square foot down. Anyway, so it's a big challenge to build this place because of the soil, but we're wrapping it up here. And hopefully we've been mixing in some nicer drone video so you get some outside views, but there's a screen porch. Stairs are being worked on. Those vents there are before you have to have ventilation for the gas range in there. And we had to build this little wall so we had something to mount the, uh, mount the outdoor kitchen to. But anyway, this house has gone pretty well other than, you know, building during COVID times. It's, it's uh, you know, you have to struggle for materials and help, but uh, all the finishes came out real well. We're really pleased with it. Um, once again, I'm really glad Really glad we've got the team we've got. Oh, right here. Set up for a generac, so it's set up for a generator. So uh, there is gas in the street here. Oh, there's our stone steps. Anyway, so that's all I have for this. We do sell plans. We do uh, assist people with lot selection. If any of that helps you, uh, um, you can just go to our website at mikepalmerhomes.com and you'll be able to reach us. So once again, thanks again for visiting our site. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.